What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Brown Panda. I have uh, purchased myself a 5-in-1 uh, window breaker, seat belt cutter, auto safety tool, flash with a flashlight um, from SOS Rescue Tools. Uh, you've probably seen seat belt cutters and uh, window breakers before. I wanted to show you this one. This is uh, kind of an interesting all-in-one package. So there, uh, it comes with um, a little... Uh, card there and two of the mylar solar blankets so this is kind of cool because um you probably want to put these in your car if you have a uh, I, I carry a uh, a bag in my car with a bunch of some food some water uh jumper cables some a blanket you know it's just some uh, emergency stuff if your car ever gets stuck in a snowstorm you're going to want to have some of these things and you could live for a while um in a car theoretically but these mylar rescue blankets are neat because they're way almost nothing they are super small and they are incredibly good at reflecting uh heat so you can wrap yourself up in these they they are they are great so just uh it's nice because even with this tool you get a couple of these good for camping and just all around having here's the tool itself it's actually pretty big it's kind of the size of say a, a television remote control <clears throat> um but uh this is kind of the all-in-one tool here and i've got a couple thoughts on um window breakers that I thought I would share with you as I'm taking a look at this. First of all, one other thing before I go ahead and install the batteries is I wanted to show you the sticker here says magnetic base and what's interesting is that there's a pretty strong magnet built into the end of this so you can turn on the uh, the flasher and put this on the top of your car kind of like a police light and it should stick there or on your trunk or wherever you need so that's kind of a nice little feature too having that magnet built in. So the device requires two AA batteries, which are not included. To get the batteries installed, you just unscrew this hammer portion, and then you drop in the batteries side by side right here. And I've got to see if there's an icon that shows which way they go, and there is. There's an icon um, emblazoned on the top there to show you which way to put the positive and negative end. And then you're just going to turn the sucker back in here. Um, and now you have uh, a pretty useful light and emergency hammer and cutter. So the first thing is, I'll take a look at the flashlight. And there it is. It uh, it's, uh, looks like it's an LED bulb. That's pretty bright. Um, you can use that in emergency. And it uh, just toggles on and off there. And then this light button is a beacon. And so you can see, uh, it kind of looks like white, but it's uh, three red flashing LEDs inside. And so you can just turn that on and off. That's kind of nice for a road flare. Or if you were just to set this in your car um, uh, outside. So especially if you're disabled on a road, you can use it, uh, um, you know, 10, 15, 20 yards in front of your car. So people know to look out for you and move. Especially if your car doesn't have power and doesn't have the hazards on. But you, you'd rather them run over this thing and uh, slow down instead of seeing your car in the rear end of you, which I have seen on the road. Um, at the top here, you have the seatbelt cutter, which is uh, basically a razor blade inside of um, some protective plastic uh, here so that you can kind of get the, the seatbelt right in there. This is useful for getting yourself or someone else out of a seatbelt uh, when you can't reach uh, the buckle portion. And you might think, why would you ever need that? Um, it, well, depending on where the buckle is and how the car is crushed in an accident, sometimes you can't uh, get your fingers to the point of unbuckling. So sometimes you need to cut the seatbelt. Of course, if you have a knife or something, you can do that. But this is purpose built for that, and it'll prevent you from slicing into someone. Then on this side, you have a little pointed, um, uh, kind of looks like a chromoly uh, steel or something, um, pointed tip here for breaking laminated uh, tempered car glass so uh, you may think you could punch through a car window i know you've seen karate kid but it's actually very very difficult the way um, car glass is set up to to actually break even with a regular hammer you wouldn't think so but it's actually very easy to break if you have a really sharp tip like this and actually there was a news story about a cop guy that got trapped in the back seat of his cruiser once and even with his um gun handle you couldn't break the glass so these actually work very well because they are um uh you know it focuses all the energy right on the tip here and it's got a nice little rubber cover thing to keep in mind and I, like i said I, I have a couple thoughts on breaking glass you may think well all right so i've got to keep this in my center console so if i ever go underwater or something i need to shatter the glass i've got this that's one 
that could be one use. But then also cars, as soon as you put them into drive, they often lock. And so cars that get into a car accident, especially if the driver is disabled, uh, the doors are locked. And sometimes you just can't get a car door open to help someone. So it may be a situation where you're grabbing this to go up to a disabled car and smash the glass so that you can unlock that door or help the person get out. Um, so it's not necessarily just for you if you get in an accident, but um, it's pretty light. Like I said, the thing is pretty big. It's going to work as a flashlight and kind of a road flare. And so there's a lot of different uh, tools built into this. I think it's a really nice thing to have. Um, it runs on two AA batteries and is pretty compact. You can throw it in this. I would throw it in the center console of your car. Or if you have an emergency pack that you keep in the trunk like I do, you could keep it there too. So uh, Peter Von Pander for the SOS Rescue 5-in-1 Auto Safety Tool. Out!